Welcome. We are very excited to have you join us at Greystone College. This 30 minute orientation will provide you with all the details you need before you begin your educational adventure with us in Montreal, Toronto, or Vancouver. We will begin with a brief history of Greystone College and cover important topics such as programs, schedules, school policies, the student portal and other important services available to you. Throughout the presentation, you will see QR codes, which you can capture using your phone camera. The QR code will direct you to the website or to the download. This is a general orientation. There will be certain areas which are specific to each campus. You should refer to the student advisors and Greystone staff at your campus for more details on issues such as COVID-19 health policies, campus policies, post-work graduate permits, or transportation. Greystone College was established in 2002 and provides private vocational programs to international students. We are part of the ILSC Education Group, which has been offering quality language learning and training programs to students since 1991. We have campuses across Australia, Canada, and in India. The mission of the college is to offer career enhancing programs and to deliver premier quality career training in a stimulating environment. At Greystone College, your instructors work hard to deliver dynamic and engaging material which give you the best learning experience. Greystone College is accredited by each province's Ministry of Education and is subject to different rules and regulations. We offer a variety of programs in business, digital marketing, hospitality, and TESOL, just to name a few. Some programs are longer and offer students the possibility of a co-op work experience. If you'd like more information on the co-op work experience, please reach out to the student advisor team and co-op team at your campus for more information. Now, let us take a closer look at schedules. We'll begin with Toronto and Vancouver. We currently offer daytime, afternoon, and evening programs. Daytime classes are four weeks long and run Monday to Friday. Classes begin at 8.30 a.m. and finish at 1 p.m. You also have work placement skills which is taken at the start and towards the end of your daytime program. The class is two weeks long and is offered in the afternoon from 1.30 p.m. to 2.45 p.m. Daytime classes are intensive and there are no breaks between class sessions other than statutory holidays and at Christmas. Afternoon classes are six weeks long and run Monday to Thursday. Classes begin at 1.15 p.m. and finish at 5 p.m. Evening classes are six weeks long and run Monday to Thursday. Classes begin at 5.15 p.m. and finish at 9 p.m. The work placement skills class for the afternoon and evening program are taken at the start and end of your program and replace a two week break period. Now, let's take a closer look at Montreal's schedules. We currently offer daytime, afternoon and evening programs. Daytime classes are four weeks long and run Monday to Friday. Classes begin at 8.30 a.m. and finish at 2.15 p.m. Labor market integration is like the work placement skills class. It is taken in the afternoons 
at the start and end of your program from 2.30 p.m. to 4 p.m. Daytime classes are intensive and don't have any breaks between class sessions other than statutory holidays and at Christmas. For our afternoon program, we offer six weeks for digital marketing and seven weeks for international business management. They run Monday to Thursday and classes begin at 1.15 p.m. and finish at 5 p.m. You will either have a one or two week break between classes depending on your program. Evening classes are six weeks long for digital marketing and seven weeks long for international business management and run Monday to Thursday. Classes begin at 5.15 p.m. and end at 9 p.m. Again, you will either have a one or two week break depending on your program. Labor market integration for the afternoon and evening programs are offered at the start and end of the program and replace a break period. Work placement skills and labor market integration are courses that will prepare you for the integration to the Canadian work environment by teaching you important skills such as writing a CV and cover letter, how to prepare for your interviews and to be successful in the Canadian job market. Once you have completed all of your courses, you will be ready to begin your co-op work experience. The length of your co-op work experience may vary depending on your campus and your program. During your co-op, you will apply all the theory and skills you learned during your academic classes to a Canadian work experience. For you to complete your co-op, you must have a valid study and work permit for the duration of your academic studies and co-op period. Greystone College is partnered with many local businesses to provide you with an amazing work experience. And the Greystone instructors and co-op department will help you prepare for co-op through coursework and workshops and job fairs that are designed for you to be successful if you do not have a co-op but would like more information, please reach out to the co-op department at your campus. Now let's take a look at Greystone College policies. On the document, you will see the QR code for our website where you can find our student policies. Capture the QR code using your phone camera to be taken directly to the website or Click here to visit Student Policies website. Today, we will cover some of the policies, but it is important that you familiarize yourself with them. It is your responsibility to review these policies, and if you need more information, Greystone College staff at your campus will be happy to answer any of your questions or concerns. Let us begin with Greystone College's sexual violence policy. Please watch this short video to learn more. At Greystone College, we are committed to a learning and working environment that is free of sexual assault, sexual harassment, and other forms of sexual violence. Did you know one in four women and one in six men experience sexual violence? Sexual violence is a broad term that encompasses all forms of sexual harassment and sexual assault. Sexual harassment and sexual assault appear in many forms, such as verbal, visual, and physical. Verbal forms can include comments about clothing or a person's body, sexual or gender-based jokes or remarks, requesting sexual favors or repeatedly asking a person out, sexual innuendos, threats, or spreading rumors about someone's personal or sexual life. Visual forms of sexual harassment or sexual assault can include drawings, posters, pictures, cartoons, 
emails, or texts of a sexual nature. Physical forms can include inappropriate touching, such as kissing, hugging, patting, stroking, or rubbing, sexual gesturing, or even staring. If you think hugging someone without their consent is okay, you're wrong. It is not your intent behind the action that matters, but how that action made another person feel. Justifying sexual violence is a big problem, and it happens way too often. Believing that someone deserved to be sexually assaulted because of the clothes they were wearing, or because they were drinking, or because they were alone, is not okay. These types of beliefs serve to justify attitudes and actions about sexual violence by removing the blame from the perpetrator and placing it on the victim. Since many people still justify sexual violence, it is no wonder that only one in every 20 sexual assaults is reported to the police. What is much more common is that a survivor will share their story with someone they trust. Maybe that someone will be you. If someone trusts you enough to share their story of sexual violence, try responding with, I believe you, it's not your fault, and how can I help? You might think that you know what's best for the person, but it is so important to let them decide what they want and need. If they don't want to report the sexual assault, that is up to them, and you need to respect their choice. Greystone College has a zero tolerance policy for any form of harassment or violence. Please review our policy found on Moodle in the student handbook and your student contract for more information. If you need support or advice, Greystone College can help. Here are some services available to students and staff. Keep Me Safe offers confidential counseling to students and staff 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. You can reach out to them by downloading the My SSP app from your Google Play or Apple App Store or by calling 1-844-451-9700. On campus, talk to someone you trust, such as an instructor, the student services manager, or your director of training.
Now let's take a look at Greystone College's attendance policy. Attending your classes will ensure your success at Greystone College. If your attendance is below 80%, a Greystone College staff member will reach out to you and it may result in disciplinary action, including warnings, academic probation, or even dismissal from the program. If you are dismissed from the program, you will no longer be allowed to work or go on co-op and your study visa and work permit will be revoked after 90 days. Attendance is recorded by your instructor at the start of each class. If you arrive one to 14 minutes after the start of your class, you will be marked as late. If you arrive 15 to 90 minutes after the start of your class, you will be marked as excessively late. If you arrive more than 90 minutes after the start of your class, you will be marked as absent. A good habit is to inform your instructor if you're going to be absent or late. If you are sick and have a medical note, you will be allowed to write any missed assignments or assessments. However, if you are late to class and there is an assessment in progress, you will not be given extra time and you may not be allowed to enter the class. Plagiarism and academic integrity. Greystone College takes plagiarism and academic integrity very seriously. This policy is explained clearly on our website and all our course outlines. Essentially, if you hand in someone else's work, copy words or ideas that are not your own, or do not reference material in the appropriate way, you're committing plagiarism. If during an assessment, you access course material and you're not supposed to, or you look at someone else's assessment and copy their answer, or use an electronic device to communicate with someone and obtain an answer, this is considered cheating. Any act of plagiarism or cheating is subject to investigation and can result in academic probation or dismissal from the program. Before you can begin your studies at Greystone, you must have submitted the required documents to the student advisor team. This will be different for each campus. If you have not already sent these documents, please email them to the student advisor team at your campus. Their email address can be seen here on the web page. You must also sign your student contract before you begin your classes. In Montreal, the student advisor team must also see a hard copy of these documents and photocopy them for your file. Please bring your study and work permit, passport, proof of health insurance, and your CAQ with you on the first day of class. Greystone College offers accommodations and home stay services to students. You may want to live in a student residence, either alone or with someone else, where you'll have more independence. This option is available to students over the age of 18 in Quebec and Ontario, and over the age of 19 in British Columbia. Student residence is often located a short distance to the school, about 15 to 30 minutes away taking public transit. Homestay accommodation means that you will live with a family and you can opt for different meal plans. Canada is a multicultural country. It is very common to meet people from other countries when living in the city. However, it is important that students and homestay families speak in English or French, and this is to help you improve your language skills during your studies. The average distance from school is 45 to 60 minutes by public transit. Some homestay accommodations might be 
in a basement. However, it's important to know that there is always good lighting and good ventilation and that all homestay accommodations have been approved by ILSC beforehand. If you would like more information regarding these services, please reach out to the accommodation department. COVID-19 health policies are controlled by the provincial government and health ministers and will differ for each campus. However, you must complete the COVID-19 health check questionnaire in your My Greystone app each day before entering the campus. Masks are strongly encouraged while at campus, however, may not be mandatory. For more information, please reach out to the student advisor team or refer to your welcome email for more details. And remember, if you are sick, please do not come to school. Email your instructor and stay home until you feel better. And always make sure to follow provincial health guidelines. As a Greystone College student, you are given a free Microsoft Office 365 account. You should have received your username and temporary password in your welcome email that was sent to you from the college. If you have not received this email, please contact the student advisor team for your campus immediately. Before you begin your classes, you will need to go to www.office.com or you can scan the QR code here. Click sign in. You will now enter your Greystone College username and temporary password. Then follow the steps to change your password and complete the two-step authentication. Each campus has a different username. For example, if you are studying in Toronto, your username will begin with T like Thomas, G like George. If your student ID is five digits, your username will be T like Thomas, G like George, zero, and then the five digit student number. If your student ID is six digits, your username will be T like Thomas, G like George, and then the six digit student ID. You will then need to add the at sign followed by ilsceducation.com. Your temporary password is welcome with a capital W followed by your birthday in the order of year, month, and day. Once you have logged into Microsoft Office 365, you will have access to the online version of all the Microsoft applications. However, you should download the applications in order to have access to the full features. One of the first apps you should download is Teams, as this will be used in your class, whether in person or online. Your instructors will share documents, links, and important information about your classes through Teams. Teams will also allow you to chat with other students and Greystone staff members. Each session, your classes will be added to your Teams application. You will see a Teams icon on the right side of the menu bar. Click it and all of your classes will appear. Classes are usually added a few days before your session starts. In your Teams class, you will see posts and files from your instructor and other students that are shared with you. If your classes are online, 
you will see a link in the main window so that you can join the online class. You will also be able to see any scheduled online classes or meetings in your Teams calendar that can be found on the right hand menu bar. If your class is scheduled online, you simply need to click the join button and you will be taken directly to your online class. Greystone College also uses Moodle, which can be accessed using a web browser or through the My Greystone app. Here, you'll have access to the arrival guide, timetable information, and job board. Your class assessments, grades, and material, such as PowerPoints and eBooks, will also be available to you. Class material is not shared with students through Teams. You must access Moodle or the My Greystone app. Another important point to mention is that Greystone College is a bring your own device. In order to complete your class assessments, you will need to have a laptop. Using a cell phone to complete end of class assessments or exams will not be possible. When you are logged into Moodle, you will see your course on the main page. Click on the course to access the material. You can download the My Greystone app using the QR code on this page for iPhone or Android here. In the My Greystone app, you will be able to access My Health Check. This is the questionnaire that needs to be completed before you enter the campus each day. If you're experiencing problems trying to log into Microsoft Office 365, my Greystone or Moodle, please visit the student help page and use the chat bot to speak with someone for technical support. You can click the link on the page here or you can scan the QR code. Help is available Monday to Friday during regular class hours. When you are studying at Greystone College, you must be covered by medical or travel insurance. If you get sick or you need to go to a hospital, you need medical insurance to help cover the costs. Greystone College has an agreement with GuardMe. You can ask for more information from the student advisor team. In Vancouver, if you are studying more than six months, you must be covered by law under the medical service plan. Keep Me Safe is a free support program for international students that offers consultation services by chat or phone with qualified individuals. It also offers a wealth of documented information about mental health or common challenges international students face. Please download the app My SSP through Google Play or the App Store. Often, international students face cultural issues or culture shock when adapting to life in Canada. Sometimes students can have communication issues in their relationships with their peers from other countries. Students can also face academic issues such as adapting to college life in Canada or different learning approaches. Students might also face social issues that come from being away from family and friends for the first time. You might be feeling lonely or isolated or have anxiety. In some cultures, talking about these types of problems or asking for help might be stigmatized. Keep Me Safe offers free and anonymous services to students 
24 hours a day, seven days a week, and you can be supported in whichever language you feel comfortable, either through a telephone call or even through chat. Again, Keep Me Safe is free and fully confidential. It is important to ask for help when you need it. You can either download the My SSP app in the Google Play or iPhone App Store, you can call the telephone number on the screen, or you can visit www.keepmesafe.org. Finally, Greystone College has a partnership with Incubate, a visa and immigration consulting company. They can help you with extending your visa or permits and answer your immigration questions. You can reach out to them regarding their services at the following email, connect at incubate.ca. Thank you so much for your time. And remember, if you have any questions, please reach out to your student advisor team or speak with a Greystone College staff member on your first day. And don't forget to follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. We look forward to welcoming you on campus very soon.